Welcome to The Pathway. You know, we mentioned in the equipping message this morning really two questions that we kind of took from Amos 7. Who could you be praying for and who might God be sending you to? Who might he have a message to share that, that you could be a part of how he brings that message to them? And part of what we saw from Amos in the chapter was this idea of praying for the forgiveness from God for the people around us. That Amos himself prayed, Lord, forgive. So I mentioned in the message that one place in scripture that really helped me to do that, because it, it sounds somewhat difficult, was out of Daniel chapter 9. So Daniel comes after Amos. In fact, Daniel is in captivity, the captivity that Amos prophesied. And now he has this moment before his God, who he knows personally, that Daniel is praying on behalf of the people. People who have been far from God, people who have rejected him, people who are in captivity because of it. And yet, notice how he uses the word we. So really, I think if you use Daniel chapter 9, verses 1 all the way through 19, spend some time in that this week. I I think you'll be inspired. But I want to read you just a few of these verses, starting with verse 3. Then I set my face toward the Lord God to make request by prayer and supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. And I prayed to the Lord my God and made confession and said, O Lord, great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant and mercy with those who love him and with those who keep his commandments, we have sinned and committed iniquity. We have done wickedly and rebelled, even by departing from your precepts and your judgments. Neither have we heeded your servants, the prophets, like Amos, who spoke in your name to our kings and our princes, to our fathers and all the people of the land. And I love how for us, Daniel's an incredible example. Like he's one of the few people in scripture that we're not totally sure what what mistakes he made. We just know that everyone has sinned. But still here, he includes himself. He identifies with the people that he cares about as he prays that God would move and bring revival and bring forgiveness. And so this is how his prayer ends in verses 18 and 19. Oh, my God, incline your ear and hear. Open your eyes and see our desolations in the city which is called by your name. For we do not present our supplications before you because of our righteous deeds, but because of your great mercies. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and act. Do not delay for your own sake, my God, for your city and your people are called by your name. Let's say a short prayer like that together right now. Lord, we come before you and we know that we too have needed forgiveness and that we come to you not because of our good deeds but because of your righteousness and your mercy, Lord, on behalf of our friends, our neighbors, our city and our world, we would say, O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, listen and act. And we'll say it in Jesus' name. Amen.